Well, the City of Marion teamed up with Uptown Marion, it's an extension of the Chamber of Commerce, to honor veterans and service members with a military tribute flag flown above the city. KWWL's Michelle White now joins us live with the story. Well, Ron and Abby, Uptown Marion's director, came up with the idea after attending a Main Street conference. So she collaborated with the city for a way to celebrate people in the community. Today, I met with one family who wanted to honor their father. He served in the Vietnam War, but because of the political tensions at the time, did not receive the recognition for his service that he deserved. Dad just wanted to acclimate back into society and pretend he had never been there and uh, they deserve better than that. Joe Pope's banner flies above the roundabout at 7th Ave and 7th Street in Marion. Pope served in the Army in the Vietnam War in the 101st Airborne Division. I'm glad that I, I did it and I, I, I'm proud of, to be Amer an American and, and it makes, gives me goosebumps when the flag is flown and I hear the Star Spangled Banner. His children, Sherry and Todd, had the banner made after Sherry chaperoned Joe on an honor flight to the war memorials in Washington, D.C. Sherry was three months old when her dad came home from Vietnam. Over the years, his family saw the effects of the war on him. He was exposed to Agent Orange. I do know I was exposed to it, but uh, I've got prostate cancer. We never went camping growing up because he said he spent enough day, days outside, <laughs> sleeping outside. <laughs> without, without a tent, yeah. But in seeing him meet with other Vietnam veterans in Washington, Sherry was inspired to honor her father's service at home in a way he had never been before. Oh, I, I just love the location. It's in a, it's in a, a high traffic area. It just makes me proud. Something the whole family shares. I feel like America is all the soldiers helped to make it great. And Ron and Abby, this is the fourth year of Marion's Military Tribute Banner Program. 115 banners are on display around the city where they will stay through Veterans Day. Live in Cedar Rapids, Michelle White, New 7, KWWL. Michelle, thank you. A great story, and we thank him for his service. Now, more than 230 service members have been honored in the first four years of this program. A portion of the sponsorship of these banners goes to Veterans Services in Marion.